It's Wednesday the 27th. I've just hit 4,000 subs and Germany have just been knocked out of the World Cup. Um, this is a Q&A after a while, finally. I'm going to do it while we're doing just jobs. At the moment I'm taking the our i4 Williams trailer off the tractor, which is a grand job. So we'll um, read some comments and answer some questions while we're doing these jobs. Um, damn. Um, first question comes from Crofter390, a fellow YouTuber. I'll leave his link in the channel below. Um, for tractors, we've had quite a lot of styres. In fact, we've had mostly styres. Um, this, we've quite a lot, we've mostly always had Herman load of tractors like we do now, um, which we think are very good. Um, obviously, we've got two Herlimans at the moment. We've got two Herlimans at the moment. Um, got this big one and we've got the loader tractor we personally prefer the loader tractor to this one um, oh let's just have the burst pipe we've had that replaced which is grand oh from crafter 390 again <clears throat> do you have a lot of small hill farms in your area a lot of bigger hill farms like everywhere in Cumbria and Yorkshire it was lots and lots and lots, lots, and lots of small ones which are now kind of big ones like we farm what would have been four farms, maybe even more, at one stage. Um, so, yeah, there's quite a lot of bigger ones, more like. Uh, from Tom Quinn, would you prefer your farms, your farm to be lowland and f on flat or highlands and hilly? <laughs> That's hard, that is, because flat, it'd be much easier for like tractors and stuff. Whereas, like, hilly is more what I'm used to, and I do love the hills, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. It's like, Swaledale sheep absolutely love it, depending on the weather, which is like 30 degrees at the moment, so they absolutely love it, I'm in the shade. Um, but no, when does, I th I'm, I'm not sure really, we'll have to find out in the future, aren't we? Lewis plays. When does your silage start? Well, we've got one crop down, uh, one field down, two acre. 15 bales off that, bailed that the other day. Grandad's stacking that now, actually. Um, it's a, way, a bit of a way away, so. Um, what's your that? Um, silage, we're going to get some down tomorrow. Um, don't know if I'll get a video of that. I'll probably get a video of that baling. Um, just two fields there. That must have been 10, 15 acres. And then the rest we don't know, it's not ready yet because we take our sheep out later than most people. The next question is from Play. Isaac Brewer, um, how are you doing merch? Do you like Massey Ferguson and how are you doing merch yes. yet? I do like Massey Ferguson, I've never driven one actually, um, not quite yet, I'd love to do that. Um, but yes I do like Massey Ferguson and I will be doing merch sometime. Um, I did try to do it but then some company that some of you may know didn't like me for it. So I have to stop doing that. That's that job done, but we'll read another question. Q&A. Ian Landers. Are you keeping the cows and how much do you have? How many do you have? Um, at the moment, we just sold two, so we have eight. Eight plus two is ten. Quick maths. We have ten bases at the moment, um, but we'll be selling them. Um, we'll be selling them because we're downsizing to a small farm which we won't be able to have space for cows, we might have a few, but we won't have many. We did have 45, 50 at one stage, but we decided, as soon as we're going to move, we're going to sell them, so, yeah. And then a question relating to that, I might as well carry on. From Joe Bowstead. Now you well, Joe, my G. How many sheep and cows do you have? Um, again, we have 10 cows. Um, we lambed about 650 lambs, um, sheep this year. Um, oh, we talked about, we talked about, talked about that, so, be around that, um, 
Um, one from Hammer Legend, seems we're on the tractor at the moment. How many horsepower does your tractor have? Well, this one has supposedly 90 horsepower. Well, it's got a chip in it, so it should have a bit more. Um, I think it's about 92, 93. It won't be much more like. Um, then the loader one, I think, I think is a 70. So I think that's 70 horsepower. Luke Benson, Q and A. Do you live near Carlisle? Um, yes. Well, we live 30 miles from Carlisle. A big bird. Um, we live about 30 miles from Carlisle, so it's not really far. Um, oh, here comes Grandma. 30 miles from Carlisle, so it's grand, um, close enough. Um, just come to T Bay from Carlisle, and you're close to us. You're not there, but you're close to us. So we'll get on. We'll get on. Talking about cows, is can you see that? There's two bulls, absolute machines. Them two, they'll be so soon. Flipping neck, it's bright. It's lovely weather. Um, Grandma's just told me there is a sheep, a lamb. Its head stuck in a fence, so we're going to see that. You're Johnny Beggar, you know that. Who's me? Make him make all the way down here. For that. Now to give some juice. Well, we're gonna read some more Q and A questions now before I f uh, fill the thing up because I'll get horrible diesel hands and I don't want that putting over my camera. So the next question is from Archie Morgan. What is your dream job? Dr what is your dream job? My dream job: farming. Don't know what type of farm. Probably hill farming, to be fair, which is what we do now. Um, Living on a farm like this, not quite as rough and high, probably not, because it's blooming stressful and you've seen what it's done to Grandad. Can't be fit for anyone, really, can it? So, probably hill farming, most definitely, probably hill farming. Um, Q&A. How, how did you come to buy a Herlman tractor over any other tractor? And are they, are they reliable tractors? William Gittins. What a name. Um, our dealership that we have half a mile down the road, the the person who did the score small, person who did the small um, hay bales last video. Thank you for that. Did very well. So I was quite pleased with that video. Um, he runs a dealership. He runs her. He um, says Herlemans, Zetters, Styers. So that's why he thought he said it would suit us. So we bought it. Had the reliable tractors. Depends. Ours has just started coming quite like it's not. It doesn't sound like it's pushing itself too much because we don't use it as much as some people would. Um, definitely, but we've just clocked 500 hours on it and it is starting to run quite well. Um, so yeah, I, it's. I think it's getting better. Q and A from Yen Th One. Do your tractors stand inside at night? Lol. Just curious. Um, no. A loader tractor normally does. Depends what the weather is. But it's normally in um, a cow shed. So, yeah. The big one, don't really. No, not really. Don't really bother with that too much. It doesn't really matter. Just get used to it rain, don't they, really? Apart from if it's like this. John Cla Ca Cale Calalane. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce names. You're one of the greatest YouTubers ever. Thank you. Love your work, lad. You should create merch and all. It would be so good. Um, I don't know. This isn't the question, but merch, as I said, it's coming sometime. Um, <clears throat> it's coming sometime, which will be hopefully good. I want it to be good merch. Probably polo shirts, because that's what I wear. I've got a repping a grassman one at the moment. Polo shirts and jumpers, probably, because they're what I wear. So I'd wear them, if you know what I mean. I would like to make stuff that I would wear. Ben Fenwick, would you like to be on a bigger acre ridge farm or do you like being on a small farm? It's not that small, this farm, it's 700 acres, including fell. But it is, it's quite big. Maybe not tractor work, it's big, but it is, it's got a lot of land to it. So, um, 
I think I prefer a farm like this than one like 1400 acres or something like that. I think I prefer this. Um, but we will see what happens in the future, won't we? What's the best thing about your herd ones? From RPC farming. <laughs> well, 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 well. They work. That's they. They do work well. Once you got them on, once you got them going, like you're in a meadow, or pasture chopping or summer, not in a meadow, in a pasture, pasture chopping. Um, you're not stopping. It's, it. It does run well. Once you started, um, got your doom tractor. Old, it'd be a massive 392 here. Or four seven eight ten. Not really sure about those. But at the moment, I don't know. Probably. I just thought I'd do, I go from tractors week to week, probably a massive to be fair. q and from Ian Brown, are you going to keep doing the vids? Yes I am, don't worry about that, it will, they will be coming shortly. And I think guys, that about wraps it up for the Q&A, um, if you'd like any, to uh, me to answer any more questions, leave them in the comments below and I will answer them, I'll try to. Um, if you've not seen my little square baling video, it'll be here, um, I will do a video on mowing, baling or summer soon. Don't worry about that, I will be back. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for 4,000 subs. Um, thank you for 4,000 subs. If you haven't already subscribed, leave uh, that subscribe button there. It should be, or there. It's somewhere. Press it. Press the notification bell as well, because YouTube's naff and it doesn't work sometimes. So if you want to keep on, keep up to date with all my videos, click that bell. Um, thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.